Labas na ng National Bureau of Investigation ang audio recording na magdiriin daw sa naarestong recruiter umano ng mga terorista. Pero gitang suspect, isa lang siyang Muslim missionary. Umaksyon si J.D. Arsena. Kabilang sa mga ebidensyang inihain sa preliminary investigation laban sa sinasabing recruiter ng mga terorista na si Karen Aisha Hamidon, ang audio recording na ipinost daw niya sa social media. Maririnig dito ang isang nanunumpa ng katapatan para sa pinuno ng ISIS. I am Karen Aisha Hamidon from Manila, Philippines who pledged allegiance to the commander of the believers, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. May Allah protect him. I hear and obey within my capacity and I will not seize power from the owners unless if I see a real disbelief that I have a proof from Allah. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Oktubre na aresto si Hamidon. Naharap siya sa reklamong rebellion o inciting to rebellion. Pero sa pagharap sa preliminary investigation ng Department of Justice kanina, mariing itinanggi ni Hamidon ang mga paratang. I have nothing to do with any of those accusations like Maute, I'm involved. I, I have nothing to do with that. I, I strongly deny all of the, the alleged the false accusations hurled against me. I'm just a da'i. I'm an Islamic propagator. I am a Muslim missionary, the counterpart of Christian missionary. Uh, I only use the social media as my avenue to, to spread the message of, of Islam. For religious purposes, for maximum audiences. Aminado ang NBI na hindi pa na isa ilalim sa audio forensics ang voice message. Pero hindi lang daw ito ang ebidensya nila. Napasok din kasi ng ilang undercover agent ng NBI ang chat group kung saan umano nakikipag-usap si Hamidon sa mga posibleng ISIS recruit. May mga post din daw siya na ng hikayat na sumali sa ISIS at sa Marawi siege. Because we have her phone no? and we conducted forensic on her phone so we're, we're absolutely sure that she posted these messages. She also made um, posts, parang statements on her Telegram accounts basically saying the same thing. No, identifying herself, her full name, um, and then declaring allegiance to ISIS. Inamin din daw ni Hamidon na dati siyang asawa ng mastermind ng Davao bombing na si Muhammad Jaafar Magid alias Tokboy at Singaporean terrorist na si Muhammad Shamin Mohamed Sidek. Just being married to Tokboy is not a criminal offense, diba? but uh, it, she, it definitely puts her on our radar. No? So uh, it identifies her as a person who's linked with these uh, terrorist groups. So, it makes her worth looking at. Naharap din si Hamidon sa parehong reklamo sa bansang India. Ikinulong na rin ng Indian government ang mga narekrut ni Hamidon doon. Umaaksyon, J.V. Arsena, News 5. Gobierno natin ay ikinigiit na ang extrajudicial killing ay pagpatay lamang ng mga media personalities at close-oriented groups tulad ng mga members ng human rights organizations no? at iba pang mga sectoral groups na merong mga uh, bosses na pinaglalaban. So hindi makukover yung mga drug users, drug traffickers, no? At uh, iba pang mga sapilitang mga pinapatay, marahas na pinapatay. So ang hirap-hirap na establish talaga ang katotohanan. Kung ang gobyerno ay ginayal ang sagot sa ating mga statistika at mga pruwebang ibinibigay. Ano po ang sama-sama natin ipapahayag sa gobyerno na itigil na ang extrajudicial killings at enforced uh, disappearances at iba pang mga heinous violations of human rights. At ang iba dito ay hindi ordinaryong paglabag sa karapatan pang tao dahil sila ay itinuturing ng mga krimen. Kung si po nanak po O paano ko pa po kukuhayin yung unsing bata na yun? 
Nilubuhay ko ba sila ngayon sa paglalabada? Pag walang labada, wala rin sila pag-aaral, hindi ko sila nakakapasok. Walo po ang estudyante ko. Ang hirap po ng buhay kasi minsan naiiyak na lang yung mga anak ko. Dapat binibigyan nila ng kagkakataon. Ipakulong nila handa na namin kami nagpaalok sa asawa ko. So handa naman ako ipasoko siya. Kaso, talagang agad binawiyasan ang buhay. Dapat binigyan nila ng pagkakataon magbago. Paano po yung orsik ng anak? Paano ko po buhay yun? Sana po mapigyan sa mga tarungan. Yung EJK po ay isa pang malaking issue. Ito ba ay magkakaroon ng kalutasan? Dahil alam natin na ang uh, mga korte ay uh, hindi po uusad ang anumang mga EJK case. Sila mismo nagsasabi, wala naman wala po raw EJK. No, mula kay Aguirre, sa kay Bato, walang EJK. Ngayon sa bagong spokesperson ni Duterte, ang aking kaibigan na si Harry Roque, wala rin EJK sa kasi Duterte ay gumagalang raw sa human rights. Kaya yun po, gagrad ang tanong ko po sa ating ngayon lahat ay gagraduate ba tayo sa kasinungalingan ng gobyernong ito? At pagpatuloy natin ang uh, pag-alala sa mga biktima ng uh, karahasan, ng kawalan ng katarungan, mula noon hanggang ngayon, hindi tayo titigil hanggat magkaroon sila ng katarungan. We are here because we want to unite and we want to cooperate and we want to coordinate our independent moves into one. Of course, for lack of a common time, it took us two months to launch this uh, Manlaban, which is the Manananggol Laban sa Extrajudicial Killings. And as a caveat, before we introduce the conveners, uh, the conveners are here, most of them are here in their individual and personal capacities. Their organizational associations or affiliations are only for purposes of identity. So, why are we here? Because we believe that lawyers, the duty of lawyers is not to apologize, it is not to deodorize, it is not to rationalize violations of rights and due process. It is the duty of all lawyers to consistently, to uncompromisingly uphold and defend human rights no matter what temporary and fleeting positions and circumstances may bring. Including law professors, judges, and law students have banded to form an organization demanding a stop to extrajudicial killings and the escalating human rights violations. The country has been experiencing a spate of extrajudicial killings in the midst of President Rodrigo Duterte's war against drugs. The casualties since he took office last year has reportedly reached at least 12,000, most of them coming from the poor communities. In a blatant disregard of the right to life, thousands of victims who are poor and powerless have been targeted and brutally, nay mercilessly, executed by the state, its agents, and proxies with blatant contempt and disregard of due process. The Duterte administration has also launched vicious attacks against individuals, groups, and institutions, including international human rights advocates that it perceives to be critical of its human rights policies, which not only instill a chilling effect on, but is a threat to freedom of expression. Today, we join the ever-growing voices of protests against rampant killings, which target the poor to defend rights and demand accountability. 
reform man laban sa EJK or mga manananggol laban sa extrajudicial judicial killings, a broad network of lawyers including government lawyers, law students, law professors, judges, legal workers, and other legal practitioners opposed to e extrajudicial killings by the government, its, ag its agents, and proxies. Manlaban sa EJK will fight for human rights, especially the sanctity of life. It will help unite and bring together members of the legal profession opposed to the institutionalized denials of due process and violations of the rights to privacy, presumption of innocence, and other basic rights to life, liberty, and security which victimize and threaten the people and make a mockery of the democratic principles and tenets we have learned or taught. We will do advocacy campaigns such as conduct forums or provide platforms on the issue especially in law schools. We, will, we shall also come out with statements and opinions from a legal perspective on human rights issues, join or initiate mobilizations, and use our legal skills to provide concrete legal assistance to victims and help in putting a stop to extrajudicial killings and rampant human rights violations engulfing the country today. Manlaban sa EJK will, form forces, will join forces with other se sectors and groups struggling against the descent of the country into the dark abyss of lawlessness persecution of the poor uh, delicious <laughs>